question that I'm asking right now is to our military, to General McChrystal, to General Petraeus, to all uh, our national security apparatus, is whether it's troops who are already there or any troop requests in the future, how does this advance America's national security interests? How does it make sure that al-Qaeda and its extremist allies cannot attack the United States homeland. If President Obama decides to send more troops to Afghanistan, do you think that he will have the support of the American people? Everything depends on the result. Um, contrary to what was said, I don't think there is a new strategy, or at least there is not no working new strategy. What we have seen this summer, uh, beside the election that were a mess, of course, uh, is the failure of the offensive in Elman province. Uh, that is to say that the clear old build strategy that was McChrystal's strategy is not working in the south of Afghanistan and in the east. And why is it not working? It's not working because the clear phase I is not doable. I do believe we will need more troops because I think we have to build larger Afghan forces and that is going to take some time, one, two, three years, and so there is going to have to be a shield to protect the building. You, you can't create a force overnight. Um, Jules, who do you think is making the most convincing argument, the Taliban or uh, the U.S. military? Right now, uh, clearly the Taliban. Uh, actually, the Taliban can clear an area from our allies, from people who are supporting the coalition. They can build some kind of administration, basic administration, few taxis, judges, and uh, it's a kind of security. Uh, the coalition is not able to do that in the countryside. And even in the cities, it's not really able to do that. So right now, they are winning. Ambassador and Special Envoy Richard Holbrook recently said in response to what success is in Afghanistan that we'll know success when we see it. Ambassador, how would you define success in Afghanistan for first the US? I think for us, success in Afghanistan is an Afghan government which has enough support from its own people to carry on for a long time building the country and fighting probably a low level of war with economic support, but not dependent on foreign troops. That, to me, that is success.